them up on a path that then they can be engaged in ongoing because recovery is something that you need to be active in every day for the rest of your life. And the model that's used, which is quite holistic, looks at um, developmental models and um, psychological approaches. Considering what happens here, I think uh, it's great that there's more opportunity for more people who need help. And also the involvement of the family, I think, is, is quite unique. Like, it's good to do the family program and have people back and involved in that way. I think that sort of sets it apart from other programs that I know. Super excited. It's just such an amazing achievement. And we're so happy to be a part of it. I came out for Lorraine Wood, who is the owner of South Pacific Private, who about five years ago asked me to come uh, to Australia. From the moment I understood what my problem was, I was looking for the solution. The fact it took someone like me, who had all of the resources and all the desire to get better as long as it did, reflects the immense challenge facing anyone with the courage and the will to confront the 800-pound gorilla of addiction. The most um, diagnosed illness in 2020 is going to be depression. So the demand is there. And this is an issue that affects all aspects of somebody's life. So everything has to be addressed. And it takes time. But now we have also Beechwood, which allows people to stay longer than that standard treatment. And it's also a really good step down in terms of doing some of the things that they would normally do in their lives, but in a safe environment. And so it just gives them a lot more support where they can get um, more emotional maturity to help them transition into the outside world. It's a big, big change for clients to go from here, where they're so supported out into the real world. Just fitting in was a big thing for me. You know, because it was a little kid, shy. But once I hit the ocean, it was a different story. It's miraculous what can happen in these doors, I know that. And it's just so many cool feelings of gratitude today, just being uh, with everyone and, and sharing the story. I think the most important thing is it means that more people can get the treatment that they need. Um, there's a demand for the service. We wanted to build a treatment centre which could help families and, and, and people suffering with mental illnesses and addictions for like, many, many years and generations to come. And I think um, looking at it now, today, it's just fantastic. I think we've achieved that dream. Well, we've gone from 37 beds to 53 plus 11 beds in the supported living facility. So it means, you know, nearly a third more people we can help. And we have had a, a three weeks waiting list. Now we can bring people in straight away and, and help more people.